Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to route the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 10.1 SMT530 model, which is this tablet here. <clears throat> okay, so it's real simple to route. So I'm just going to take you through the process real quick. So um, the first thing you'll need to do is you'll need to pull down your notifications and go into the settings and select general then go to about device and tap on the build number around seven to eight times until it unlocks the developer options so these are the developer options I've already unlocked them and where it says USB debugging here you're just gonna tick that box I've already got it ticked and then you can come out of there <clears throat> next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to go visit this website here I'll leave a link to the website in the description down below so just head on over to the website <clears throat> and you're gonna follow step one here so download and install the Samsung USB drivers onto your computer if you've got Samsung keys already installed you can skip st step one because Samsung keys provides the Samsung USB drivers already. So like I said, if you've already got keys installed, you can skip step one and follow step two. So step two, you're just going to download, click on the download link and you're going to download this file here. And inside the file, it has the CFOO root tar file along with Odin. So download it, I've already downloaded it and I've stored it to my desktop so this is how it's going to look, it's a zip file. So what you need to do then is you just need to right click anywhere on your desktop and create a new folder. Open it up and then drag and drop the file into there and then right click on it and select extract here and then it'll create a folder like this and this is the Odin file along with the CFO root file okay so we can just close that down for the moment okay the next thing you'll need to do is you'll need to put your tablet into download mode So just power off your tablet, turn it off. Make sure it's fully off. And then here on the side, you're just gonna press the volume down button along with the home button here. So you're gonna press the volume down home button along with the power button. until you get this message here this warning message and then all you do now is is just press the volume up button to continue and now you should get a screen like this now just go back to your Go back to your desktop and open up the folder and click on Odin and select yes. Okay, now on your tablet, you're just going to connect the USB cable. And once you connect the USB cable, where it says ID com here, it should now be blue. If it's still grey, that means you've not installed the drivers or they've not installed properly. So um, make sure that this box is blue. 
once it's blue you know everything's set up correctly and you're good to go so now we're just going to go locate the cf auto root file so select pda and just need to find the file hold on okay so i'll take it out of the folder there okay so i've put the auto root file on my desktop okay so select pda and select cf auto root make sure these two boxes are ticked auto reboot and f reset time make sure everything else is unchecked so just make sure these two boxes are ticked make sure it says added and then you can just go ahead and hit start and you should see the flashing should start taking place then it should say reset up here at the top keep your USB cable connected you should see some writing coming up on your tablets display whatever you do do not plug out the USB cable Now we're just going to wait for the tablet to reboot. Okay, so now we're just going to have a look and see if we've got the super user application installed. And as you can see, we've got the super user app installed there. Let's see if I can focus in here. Okay, so once you open up the super user app, it might say the super SU binary needs to be updated. Just go ahead and click continue to update the binary and go ahead and select normal. It will say installing, please wait. If you see the message for more than five minutes, please reboot and try again. Samsung Knox has been detected. This might limit root capabilities and cause annoying pop-ups. Try disabling Knox. Okay. Knox was, su Knox was successfully disabled. Go ahead and hit OK again. Okay, installation success. It is recommended to reboot your device. So just go ahead and reboot. And that people, that is how you root the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4 10.1. As you can see, it's a real simple process. Um, you can also download Root Checker from the Play Store just to double check that it's properly rooted. Um, just download Root Checker from the Google Play Store and install it. Open it up and it'll check to make sure that your tablet has full root access okay so let's just
And there you have it, Super SU, now installed on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, and this tablet is now rooted. So that's it for the video, guys. If you like the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, click the link in the description if you want to follow on to the next process, which is to install TWRP Recovery. Um, click on that link and watch that tutorial video. Um, also, if you need help with anything, leave any comments in the comment section down below. And hit the subscribe button and subscribe to your boy, the Android Doctor. And I'm out. Deuces.